Okay, we drove a little ways up before we turn on the highway. We're gonna look through uh, this, just this little bluff right here. We're not gonna go out there. We're just gonna look around right here and see uh, any changes in the rocks. We're gonna rock hunt. We're gonna rock hunt right here for a second. I'll let you know if we find anything. Otherwise, we're jumping back in the car and we're checking one more spot. It's pretty windy out here and a little chilly and poor little dog got stickers all over in her fur so that's interesting stuff this is interesting stuff you're gonna bring a couple pieces of that. Hi. 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 It's interesting too. There's a lot of this stone and then in amongst it are some of these that are rounded like that naturally. Well, I guess it was old ocean floor, so. But these are interesting to me, whatever this is. The different shapes of them. Very much a mystery of how they were made. They are slightly translucent, but look at this one, let's say. Pretty bizarre. So we were wandering around for a while picking these up. And some sort of silicate, I'm going to say some sort of chert maybe, but just the shape in general and the color is strange to me, so look at the inside of that one again, that pitting this is where I broke it to see what it was and it looks like a fine microcrystalline, so just wanted to collect them, look at them, if anybody knows, let me know for sure Oh, this is some of the agate. I see the little blue shell stuck in that piece. Fascinating. See, here's the same material so we're just going to snatch some of this up because it's semi-translucent very hard and very crystalline and it's not super common it's just kind of back and forth it's got a real weird look to it compared to the rest of everything so we'll save that let's go ahead and get up to this change in rocks here promising that this will only be a quick stop here so Keep it moving. For sure. You see the natural shine of this stuff? There's some more of it. Like this one. This is another one that I picked up and it looks sedimentary in that it has layers, but these do not break off easy at all. And look at the end, it looks like you know, very molten and Maybe things have been sandblasted out here, but what was it originally? What's going on with this, you know? Some more of it. It's weird. It's almost an agate-like feeling, but it's like not translucent in that sense. Strange creatures if you look at this up close. It's actually got high translucence to the whole thing. Almost a green. And again it looks like a little nodule. But yeah. Real weird 
edges to them and stuff, and then the pocketing. Maybe these are things I'm hypothesizing that formed in pockets like agates do, like nodules. Weird meaning I don't come across it all the time where I'm from. So, I'm thinking maybe that's a lot of the shapes that I am seeing are different uh, molds, basically, or silicates formed in different pockets. See that edge though? Weird, huh? So just their shape laying there. Made me start picking them up. That's good enough for me. This is some weird rock, huh? This shiny, flat stuff. And these are the rounds of it. These are the ones that are mystifying us in these shots. Going to assume that they're some sort of chert, but their shape, like the way that mark goes around there, I don't know. It's in it, and their shine, and the edge. Okay, that's all we're taking of that stuff. It's literally, the ground is composed of it. You can see it shining in the distance. It will, boulders of it, you can see it has some translucence to it. Where that's almost an agate. Doesn't that look like an agate on the surface? Red versions of it. Meteoric looking versions of it. Green versions of it. Ones like this that we kept picking up where it was like, that's got to be something, it looks like something was poured inside of a mold. And their gloss is so high, makes me think of dripping silicate minerals filling something in. Well, Wyoming, you definitely have rocks. And sheep skeletons. Possible tiger chert. Stripes in it, and then just the general material itself. As well as location. That is a uh, that, I believe, is the material that we'd be looking for to find the shells in it. Which we've already found a little of. So you can see there's large amounts of this. Might also be a clue to if you were hunting indigenous tools of this area. Okay. Here's a fossilized shell, so if we could find those two things mixed together, then you'd be in them. Oh man, this stuff 
This stuff is basically an agate, you see that? Taking way too much of it, I think. Nope. There are bigger fossilized spirals in here. And lots of, uh... Lots of, like, almost agate, the shiny stuff. Is there more? She found agate. I think there's, I think a lot of this is agate. And the shells are here, agatized. Let's go up on this hill and see what's here. Those shiny stones are pretty darn cool, though. Here's more of it. I'm not sure how much of it's translucent. Oh, it all is. It's just a dark translucence at this point. Oh man, these are... Beautiful mixes. Oh, I love the areas that, that have little vegetation on them like this, because look across this landscape, look at the change in colors, and everywhere you go, the next hill over, you're likely to run into whole other things. Look at that. That looks like a worked tool made out of this stuff. So they were definitely uh, here on this little hillock making tools or using tools or manufacturing tools that's a beautiful little flake working our way to the top of this thing excuse me for the shaking we are on a phone the gopro has of course run out of battery but that's okay we'll see if there's an old camp on top or any change in rocks. I think we we're right down in the golden area there. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice chunk of agate. Boom. Fortunately, no, that doesn't look worked. No way of telling, but beautiful. Beautiful, shining in the sun. Happy. Yeah. Yeah, just lots of beautiful ocean bottom silicates scattered about. Scattered about. Those are really cool. I'm keeping them no matter what. Real bizarre shapes, so though, with the actual holes going all the way through everything, and that's why my brain is having a hard time wrapping around it. If they're nodule molds, and what were they in? If not, then what shape these things? I don't know. So we just gathered a whole bunch of them up to look at them. Here is a big beautiful piece. I think I see shells all the way through it. Nice. This is the brown material. This piece actually looks like it has a lot of stuff in it. So 
Awesome. Ooh. Little bits of agate here and there. Sorry I'm going so fast, it's almost a panic. Somehow. It did, it did. I prospected all the way to the top, and yeah. Be glad you did. Ooh, it's the stuff. I understand. It had good stuff. Look at the lines going around it. Follow them. They go on the other side too. The most bizarre, smooth, cool feel to these rocks too, but they have to be molds of some sort or strange things have happened to these. Yeah, this, this brown stuff has fossil imprints in it of shells. So the brown stuff here does have fossil imprints, that's all I know. That was a big clamshell fossil imprint coming out of this rock. And we are right here by the entrance, I'll show you on a Google shot here. Right when you pull off, oh, look at that. Nice. Nice, beautiful silicate. Got a pocket full of good stuff. Absolute. Really happy. I love the shape of this rock, if nothing else. Quartz, I think. Hit this little creek again and follow it up, collecting spirally shells and jump in the car. Another location. That might be in the next video. I'm not sure how long this one is getting. I won't know until I'm editing this part right here. There is a clam stuck in this rock. There on the surface. Thank you. Thank you, Wyoming. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they are everywhere. I do see them. I'm trying to get myself in my pocket. And then we're 
gonna squat down and we're gonna go boom, 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 boom. Oh, this must be a spot. Boom. Boom. Hope you're not getting too tired of this. If you are, fast forward to the next cool stuff I'm finding. I'm gonna go ahead and hang out here for a second in the past and collect as many of these as I can so that we have them in the future. Yeah. This is just, these are all agatized. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. Um, so many in this one little spot. jazzed up. I haven't even had my full amount of coffee for the morning, so this is just just jazz. Oh, big chunks of it. I'm actually going to crawl around here on my knees, digging at the earth until she like literally hollers at me. Because this is the best the best I've seen. They seem to be running out now. Now, this is just really cool because we're here. We're literally on the bottom of the ocean floor, and there's the shells laying there, agatized, that were there back in the day. So, as we were leaving the Green River formation, and we weren't off that side road yet where we found the agatized snails. We saw an entire field of very shiny rocks. The other rocks were not, didn't have the luster that these did, but it was extraordinary to see how many of them were on the landscape there. So I found some dull ones, and after close inspection, I actually found these were the rougher ones that weren't lusterous. This after a close inspection, and, and it was not even a full mile away. And then there were only a few of those, but they started to have these imprints. All these lustrous rocks had these strange formations on them. And the duller ones looked just like they were dull on the inside, but the luster was on the outside. And they were shining in the sun. It was amazing. And then I found another that could be a shell fossil in there. And it was only about... Less than a mile, even before we got back on the highway. Some of them were turning, were a little bit lighter brown, but they all had this glistening. There was a little creek there. They had these weird lines in them, almost as if it was like a fossil of something else in them. But all these weird lines. I did find this one weird one. Didn't go all the way to agate, but... Its interior really looked and this was smooth, oddly enough. So I don't know if this got worn away by being in the water or if that's an imprint of something.
but it was so beautiful. It was a pretty barren landscape. There was a plateau there, and he hiked up there to see if it was shedding out. These were little ones that were in a creek by there. Not really a creek, just a watershed area. This one had the same lines. Some of them were lighter in color. They weren't as black, but this is what the center of them look like, broken open. So maybe I don't want to really break mine open, but it was interesting that I found this guy. I don't have a sunny day today while I'm filming. And in fact, it's cloudy, but you can see they look very odd. Right after we got out of that, the egg at Shell Place, this was on the very same road. So we couldn't, didn't get back on the highway before we pulled over again. But the way they were glowing in the sun, it was still part of the Green River Formation. But all in all, a roadside stop, it was super, super fun. And the quest goes on.